Baby boomers are in the unique position of having more free time on their hands now than they've ever had in their life, except maybe as a child. Careers, kids, all that that comes along with both of those have generally taken a big chunk out of their alone time together. So for most, date night was pretty much non-existence. Taking the time to enjoy each other's company and having fun with one another again, is so crucial to a solid relationship. So joining us now to talk about the importance of making time for yourself and your love life is Alma Leviton, director of the counseling group in Miami, licensed marriage and family therapist, and hopefully a great help to us all. So Alma, what is the biggest problem? What is the biggest challenge for boomer couples after the children have left, they've got emptiness syndrome, What's the hardest thing for them to deal with? Well, it really is a challenge. It's a very difficult time of transition. Parents have been working as parents for at least 18 years. So now all of a sudden, they're, when they're used to calling each other mom or dad, they've sort of lost their actual names. All of a sudden, they have to look at each other again and go, oh, wow, who are you? What's your <laughs> name again? So they really do have to sort of start from scratch in terms of rekindling that relationship, finding out who each other is again. What do you think are some of the best ways to go about that transition of trying to find the young couple that you started off at? Well, there's lots of things they can do. One of the more important things would be traveling. Traveling is an, a wonderful opportunity because they leave the home, the environment of the home, which has been dedicated so many years to raising the children. So changing the environment is a wonderful transitional way to begin to get to know each other in a very different way again, begin to see each other as they saw each other when, before there were children in the picture. It really is a beautiful way, and some of these destinations can be so romantic and so conducive to bringing up those feelings again. And that is just a perfect segue because, speaking of destinations for adult or couple-only getaways, we have Becky Carr, Chief Marketing Officer of Foxwoods Resort Casino, on our show today. Hi, Becky. Hi, Morgan. Thanks for having me. Becky, for anyone not familiar with your resort casino, can you give us an idea of what Foxwoods is all about? Foxwoods is all about having fun. It's located in southeastern Connecticut, in between Boston and New York. It is the North America's largest resort casino, but aside from that, it is truly a unique escape to relax, have fun, and literally have a full complement of amenities available to you. We've got four hotels, two of them are four diamond. We've got 38 dining experiences, everything from gourmet to grab and go, some of the iconic brands out in the market, two world-renowned spas, a golf course uh, with two Reese Jones courses, uh, a museum, entertainment within two theaters, a comedy club, you name it, there's something for everyone here at Foxwoods. Wow, that sounds like everything a couple could want all in one place. <laughs> so for those baby boomer couples looking to solidify their relationships at this stage of their lives, what kind of unique experiences do you offer for that much needed adult getaway? Why should couples choose Foxwoods over some other resort destination? Well, I think at this point in a baby boomer's life, they've gone through so much over the, the years raising their children, the hectic pace in their life, really looking for a place to go away, escape, so I think what really makes Foxwoods stand apart from the other choices out there is the feeling that you are absolutely at the forefront of every employee's mind. Their focus is on ensuring that you have just an incredible experience. What you think would be an ideal itinerary for a baby boomer couple? My itinerary would be to, to check into a spectacular room, look at the view of the reservation. I think I'd hit the spa and relax. I might take a hike uh, on the Pequot trails, probably hit the uh, roulette table or uh, try my hand at uh, some slot machines. In the afternoon, I might hop over to the Mash and Tuck at Pequot Museum and Research Center. It is the largest Native American museum in the United States. I would absolutely uh, have dinner up at the uh, Paragon. It's a five diamond restaurant. Uh, French and Asian cuisine that is truly spectacular. Again, the view is breathtaking if you happen to be there uh, during sun sunset. After dinner, I'd probably uh, go watch some dueling pianos or a, a comedian at the comics club or, you know, if I had a lot of energy, uh, maybe hit the dance floor in, in one of the nightclubs. Well, that sounds like a perfect way to rekindle that romance or to celebrate a new companionship. 
Thank you, Becky. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me, Morgan. It's been fun. You know, for more information on Foxwood Resort Casino, please log on to www.foxwoods.com.